Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I am so excited. Some of you have been asking where my Revealing Light Oracle deck is. Well, I was actually getting a few test, um, test decks done at the printers just to make sure that the quality was there, that the printing, um, the printing processes were spot on. Um, and then I had to wait for it to be delivered um, to me. Um, and they arrived, just two test decks in the mail. And uh, I am just, my heart is singing um, when I look at them. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a reveal and then we'll do a, a reading. Um, I know there are some of you have who have been waiting um, on the deck and thank you for reaching out and asking about it um, but I wasn't sure when 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 I wasn't sure of the timeline until I made sure the quality the printing quality was okay okay and it is um, my next steps now before I commission a, a big print run which will involve a outlay of money is to set up a supply you know, like the supply chain process and I'm uh, going to be learning as I do that I do intend to ha make it for sale on Amazon um, and so I have to become an Amazon seller then I have to um, yeah uh, so it's the deck's not going to be out on the marketplace tomorrow there is a process to go through so be patient it will arrive I'm hoping before the end of this before the end of June um, certainly sometime in June I'm, I'm hoping to be able to open up for sales um, having not sold product like this before it is all a learning curve but I'm happy to say I'm an experienced um, product developer I'm an experienced creative uh, that's part of what my um, old life was all about um, was working on creative projects and getting a creative um, a creative product whether that was uh, health comics or storybooks or um, brochures or little mini uh, health booklets uh, whatever um, I'm used to producing Producing this kind of um, product and I worked with one of my uh, wonderful old designer friends Mutsumi Young uh, to produce this so um, all right so let's have a little bit of an unboxing and then we'll do a reading with them so I'll just bring the laptop down before I do I'm not sure why the light is like that today uh, I've not put anything on the lens um, sometimes occasionally it goes like this and I just have to I've learned to just go with the flow um, so I'm going to bring the laptop down and we're going to just take a look all right so I've got my trusty selenite tower here as well um, because I just love the energy that comes from that so um, how it will turn up when it's eventually for sale it will come in a box like this with shrink wrap uh, and of course the box is uh, obviously uh, contains a message from me and an outline of the cards and that's our logo um, Essence is the first card and that's the card that's remembering who you are and uh, this is what the deck is all about to rediscover or discover the essence of who you are. Uh, so I put the card, the first card in the in the pack on the front of the pack. Um, so it, if you were to open that um, then it comes with a little instruction um, booklet Look, I went with the ease and I went with what I could afford to print as well. Um, this instruction booklet, the, you'll see the cards, you can read these cards without any knowledge at all, just using your own intuition um, and uh, and looking at the keywords and the phrases. If you wanted a little bit more direction, I've included a uh, potential spread here for you, That that's the spread I'm going to this is one of my own uh, devising, a potential spread that you can use. Um, and that talks about uh, card one, where you are now, card two, past influences on the situation that you're asking about. Uh, three, um, the uh, number three is suggested action. So any sort of suggested action you, you might uh, want to take and the possible future outcomes because we all want the um, guidance of a, um, of a of a prediction don't we sometimes so this is about you uh, you uh, checking in with yourself um, 
looking at your own inner compass uh, and pulling those answers from within you. That's what the deck has designed to be uh, with that first card of essence, discovering the essence of you. Some of the <clears throat> components of the deck, I've used the chakra, um, the chakras to colour code the deck. I probably should be allowing you to walk through that with me. Um, there are 40 cards in, in here and I've used the uh, colours of the chakra um, to uh, guide us as well. I've given you the chakra meanings uh, in the, in the co colour codes here. Um, from the base, red, which is the red chakra, the root chakra, right up to the, um, the purple, which is the crown chakra, the connection with the divine. So you'll find, if you're interested, a little bit on the chakras here so that you can follow the colour coding. I've also used elements as well um, for those that are familiar with elements, earth, water, earth, water, um, fire, uh, um, where are we, ether uh, and air. Uh, so the elements are there for you as well uh, and I've given you a little bit of a description. So everything in this instruction book is about keywords. It's not about making you read a whole 250 page tarot book it's about giving you the tools that you need to get started on your oracle straight away today so for example the ether divine space spiritual spiritual sight describes some of the um some of the energy behind that ether symbol then i move into the um ast i do use a bit of astrology in here obviously i couldn't cover astrology uh in this um eight page instruction booklet so i've directed you to cafe astrology for those that know it's a very reasonable um site if you want to learn about astrology that's a good starting place so if you want to take the deck you can use the deck now or you can build in layers of meaning um, at your own pace and you can also use it for learning. Then I have um, uh, numerology that is a very important, along with the chakras, uh, a very important feature of the deck and I've given you 1 to 10 and with the meanings of 1 to 10 uh, you can, you know, when you see... Um, you know, when you see combinations of numbers, you should start to develop an intuitive feel for numerology. Um, and then uh, I've given you card meanings and card keywords on the back here um, from 1 to 40. So when I look at the card meaning for 1, they're keywords, the self, your truth, reunion with core, self-authentic part of the divine. So uh, you can, of course, see... Um, see that see those keywords when you open up the instruction booklet um, so that is obviously our, my revealing light revealing light oracle logo I also have my own publishing I have had for some time my own publishing um, uh, platform uh, called Kairos Publishing Australia which of course uh, Kairos uh, means opportunity um, so um, I've you I've put my uh, my writing kind of logo on there as well. So um, what else do you need to know? Um, let's take a look at the cards. All right. So um, in no particular order, uh, just looking at it before we do a reading, you'll have number 29. Um, as I said, numerology, I've used numerology and astrology here. Um, illumination, um, this is uh, the number 2 and 9, um, talks about uh, number 11. It, as you know, um, that is uh, the calling card, if you like, of the angelic realm, the divine realm. Of course, we're using the, the purple uh, to illustrate the crown chakra, the connection with the divine. Everything in this deck draws on revealing light. Um, and uh, illumination, heaven is both within and outside of us and notice the signs. So sometimes you just need uh, every, in any one day a, a little reminder of um, of that heaven does is within us and that um, there really is no barrier, this body, that this, the bodies that we're in. You know, we have souls, we have divinity within us and so does everything else. So we're all connected. Um, sometimes also, now this is a good one, um, hold your ground, which is really interesting. I feel this is current for the, 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 the climate, global climate we're in. Hold your ground. It is a, um, 
Uh, it is a associated with the sacral chakra, which is all about getting getting of wisdom. Um, the numerology in that is uh, eighteen, which is uh, one, the self, and eight. Um, you know that kind of spirit, that drive and spirit that takes us forward. Uh, it is a Leo energy, a fire energy. So hold your ground. Sometimes you've just got to own it. Sometimes you've just got to own it. Um, number 20, if you look at the meaning of two, the number two, we find networks, we find partnerships. This again is a water, a water energy here. It's associated with the heart chakra. Again, the light coming through partnerships, giving and receiving. There is strength in unity. Um, I've associated this with the cancerian energy because cancer is all about feeling um, uh, that feeling like you're coming home sometimes that feeling like you're coming home is what you can find that within uh, within each other that's what unity is um, and this card is for my sister my sister who passed away um, this is her card she passed away last year and she was a cancer and she loved her home and um, pardon me um, Okay, I'm glad I haven't got the laptop up or you would see that I'm um, very moved and I am very moved with this deck and I hope you will be too. All right, let's give it a, a shuffle and uh, you'll see the cards as we go along. Um, okay, all right. Um, what I wanted to do was take advantage of the feeling in this deck because uh, when I was looking at it before I opened up for this reading, I found... Um, I found that there was, uh, in the development of this deck, there was almost like a channeling. There was, um, sure, it was done It was done by me, um, by me, the essence of me, by remembering who I am. But it was also done uh, with a lot of help from spirit. Um, so um, let's, that's what struck me about the deck. Uh, let's see what it's got to say. Uh, no better question for today. Such a difficult day for so many people. Um, let's have a look at um, why Donald Trump. Why Donald Trump. I saw a, a clip on Twitter with Trump um, promoting his Trump, Trump wings and he was dressed in yellow and he was... Um, why this man? It's it's like he's uh, some so, someone out of Sideshow Alley. It's like he's in uh, you know some um, malevolent circus freak show. Um, I don't mean to use that word freak, but um, it seems that way. Uh, the feeling that we're getting, what is happening uh, on the ground in the U.S. is you know it's just unbelievable. Um, and when I've done readings on him in the past, um, it had to be this bad for us to to wake up out of a an illusion, uh, a he that heavy Piscean energy, Neptune energy. Um, we had to go right down Pluto, death and rebirth, regeneration. We had to go right down to understand uh, to understand what we needed and to create that um, to create that in the future. Um, Change is just around the corner. Uh, you know, I, I I know that. I know change is just around the corner. Okay, so um, you will be rid of him in November. All right, why Trump? What, what does someone like Donald Trump, this person dressed in this yellow suit, dancing and promoting his chicken wings, why someone like him? With all the... the um, with what we've got to see uh, in the middle of this virus, the middle of this, you know, such a dark time for all. Why this sideshow alley person? Why why are we seeing this carnival circus kind of distorted narcissistic act? Why Donald Trump? Show me why Donald Trump. Strength is the first card out. Um, now I'll use my spread. Um, so I'll just pull the laptop down and I will use my um, the spread that I devised in the instruction booklet, um, which you can all use yourself. So 
Okay, so the first card out will be uh, where we are now. Okay, so where we are now, <laughs> where we are now, strength. Okay, it is the number 14. The number one talks about the individual. The number four, it's the, the number one is like the full card. It is it is the essence. Um, it is remembering who we are. Number four is about foundational work and, and often having to rebuild the foundation. Together that adds up to five. What is five? Five is change. Um, this is a fire energy. And if, if there's what will get... Um, uh, this sideshow alley person out uh, in November will be um, so much inspiration, passion that you will uh, that you will all come out to vote to get rid of him. So this is a Leo energy, the strength card. It's not um, dissimilar to the strength and endurance card in the tarot. The um, the message here underneath the headline is this. Self-knowledge, self-acceptance and awareness of your value are worth contemplation. So what will it take for people to come out and vote? It will take every one of you. Okay, let's have a look at past influences on the situation. <laughs> Let go and trust yourself. Intuition. How many... Um, how many in our lifetime, I guess, know when something's going south? How often do we know it before it's going to happen? Um, how could this happen? The number three and five. Three uh, talks about creative solutions in change. There is a Piscean energy in this card. <laughs> it's a connection with spirit, but it's also... Um, Cutting through the illusion. Uh, nothing will cut through illusion and delusion like that gut feeling that knows when you're uh, watching or you're walk, walking through Sideshow Alley who is good and who is not, who is right and who is not, who is, um, um, I, go, I don't know, the opposite of, um, uh, you know, the opposite of, of a narcissist who is ego uh, driven and who is not, you know, get, you know, bearings. Anyone that met the person prior to him becoming president would have known. I certainly knew when I looked at his campaigning. I certainly knew. Um, okay, so we all knew. We all knew. Um, intuition, let go and trust yourself. Now, this also in the past are the, the lessons for the future. Intuition, let go and trust yourself. What do you know for certain today? What do you know for certain today? You know that you have to get rid of this man. Okay, what will it take to get rid of this man? It will take unity. It will take unity. All right, so um, the um, suggested action is review. So this is a little bit like the uh, Seven of Pentacles in the um, in the tarot. This is about going back to the drawing board and reviewing. You can elect a, a different leader on in November, um, but you're going to have to be looking at options. You're going to have to be choosing, uh, of course, which which door you're going to go through. Now, um, to think that everyone's uh, be you know behind Joe Biden, um, I I think I'm speaking to those that may maybe aren't, um, it's time for that review. Uh, this is uh, the, a connection with the divine as well, but it's also a, an energy, a Mars energy. This is about learning from lessons and making the right choices, but also understanding that you do have options. So even if you're not behind someone like Joe Biden or whoever the, you know, obviously he's going to be the candidate, um, you know, it's it's uh, have a look at who his vice president might be. I, I've done uh, a reading in another forum on that. I'll, I'll update that reading later on this week. Um, I feel it is going to be Kamala Harris. But, um, you know, what options do you have? Uh, and, of course, the other aspect of this card is that you are 
unlimited. You have limitless options. You should never be feel like you are stuck in any one spot. So this is a counsel for the here and now. Um, some people are feeling imprisoned by what is going on, whether that be uh, lockdowns, whether that be with this president, whether that be um, you know, a, a personal situation they can't seem to get on top of. There is no prison but the prison that you put within, uh, with, around yourself. So understanding that you always have options. Now that's interesting. That's a, a direct message from spirit. It's connected with the crown chakra. It's, um, not even looking at, at a predetermined outcome in November. It's looking about gaining, it's looking at gaining your freedom now, mentally gaining your freedom. Okay, let's have a look at, oh, wow, the future, essence. Oh, thank you, spirit, remembering who you are. Um, and this is Neptune and this is Pis Pisces energy as well. This is a direct connection with the divine. If you have thought that this situation has a karmic, ring to it uh in the last three years will the, you be right um this is all about change uh provoking change this is all about new starts this is about this is almost like the fool energy as well it's setting out on a new journey so you've got a choice to make in the meantime don't feel like you're in prison because you have a choice to make come November um, there is strength and endurance as well um, and given the intuition card um, number 35 um, uh, is in the um, in the past uh, let go and trust yourself if you've got um, if you've got a resistance to voting Trump out for whatever reason or, or put you know you're just not going to vote because you don't really like the Democratic candidate, whatever the reason is, just ask yourself what is the most important thing to you, for you now? What is the most important thing for you now? At the base of the deck, we've got divine con connection. Why Trump? Um, people think that spirit is, you know, up in the ether, um, that they couldn't, surely they couldn't connect with spirit. But you can. Everyone can by understanding that spirit is within. Um, Divine Connection, number 40. It is the last card in the pack. Uh, it is the gold at the end of the rainbow. It's the um, harvest after all the hard work. It is... Um, when we connect with spirit, life offers an abundance we may, may not have noticed before. So at the end of these three years, why Trump? When we um, know what we've got to do to uh, push through illusion, what we know, uh, what you know, the lessons that we've learned um, over the time, um, one of the things we'll be, we will have learned is to connect with uh that higher part of ourself. Um, so that is the spirit within. The more that we connect with that, uh, the greater our opportunity is to have abundance in our lives. Connections, it's all about connections at the base of the pack now. Finding the spark of divinity in ourselves and others. This is number 21. Number two, networks, unity, partnerships. Uh, number one, uh, the essence of oneself, connection, finding the divine spark within. And, of course, what's at the base of the pack? Free fall. Unfortunately, nothing breaks as easily as a heart nor mends as strongly. So I understand at an emotional level, number 22, this is about unity. This is about coming together. Uh, when you have your heart broken, you feel like you're in free fall. But nothing breaks as easily as your heart, but nor does uh, nothing mend as strongly as a heart. And so you're going to be um, resilient. You're going to be resilient. And right now we have partnerships at the base of the pack. Giving and receiving, there is strength in unity. This is where the strength is going to come from. This is why you need a centralist um Candidate to unite uh, because what is going to drive um, Trump out is unity, unity, passion, um, uh, driving that energy forward, uh, coming together to vote this man out. Um, at the base of the pack, we also have this beautiful 
I think this is a card for you uh, in the US, if what well, you're one of my viewers in the US. It is, uh, it is, I use the image of a little uh, boy playing baseball. Uh, we don't have baseball in Australia, so it definitely was for you. It is a Leo energy. It's a fiery energy as well. Um, it's the self. Uh, it is also entrepreneurship. Uh, and together it adds up to nine, which to me is, uh, we're, you know, manifesting. When we're in that nine energy, we're in manifesting energy. So hold your ground. Sometimes you've just got to own it. You've just got to turn up for the game no matter what. Um, and finally, number seven, because we do have lessons here. We do have um, resilience. This card, um, you know, when we're battered in the storm, um, it, you know, even in the darkest storm, there is illumination within. Be your own guiding light. Never give up. Never give up. And this is a Taurian energy. This is resilience. Um, so <laughs> right now, this is what you're needing. This is the base chakra. This is the um, the pentacle kind of energy. This is earth energy. This is um, uh, our physical body type. This is our um, existence that we have here on earth. Um, we are uh, nothing if not strong and enduring. Uh, the human race is strong, is enduring. Um, remembering who you are is the future card. Essence, number one essence cutting through the illusion cutting through that fog and being very strongly connected with the divine and very strongly connected with your higher self uh, and that is what uh, Donald Trump has to teach us so um these are dark times um I'm reminded what is occurring across the world but I'm also reminded uh, that we will endure and so that I'm going to finish with that question okay so um, show me show me the world a year on from now show me the world a year on from now acknowledging the economy will be you know, we'll be in recession, acknowledging that. Acknowledging that we're likely to have a vaccine of the Oxford University or Oxford Research Laboratory attached to, um, I think it is Oxford University, um, are saying they will have their vaccine ready uh, by next, by this time next year. Okay, they're pretty confident. The uh, British are pretty confident of that. Um, okay, so acknowledging the economies will will have suffered from this, acknowledging there will be a vaccine, acknowledging that we will no longer be in lockdown, um, keeping our thoughts positive, show me having that, that star of hope there, show me where we will be, where we will be in a year's, year's time, one year from now. Okay, resetting fixed beliefs and moving forward. We will have learnt, this is completion, one, the self, nine, um, manifesting a new cycle. But in the meantime, we will have had to move beyond any fixed beliefs that are holding us back. Okay, let's bring the laptop down so you can see these cards. Um, where are where are we now though? We're having to. Uh, this is moon energy as well. This is um, having to uh, address our instincts, our baser instincts. The, the wolf here is observing. Uh, he's observing. Initially, I had a cityscape beyond behind this wolf. I changed it to a mountain um, because I wanted um, I wanted the this wolf to have a free uh, a free view. There is. I'm not. I, I'm not saying this. Um, there's something proud and noble about the wolf. Uh, in fact, in many cultures, the wolf is protective. So the aspect I wanted to bring forward in this card that the shadow side, even though it is dark, we can't see it. It is the unknown. Possibly, we're even. We could be even um, cautious with this instinctive uh, energy. Um, there's also something very illuminating. 
illuminating about that energy. Uh, and this is where I feel we are now, moving past fixed beliefs, resetting fixed beliefs and moving forward. You can't have progress until you do that. So um, number two, <laughs> uh, this card is past influences on the on the situation. Did anyone get a strong um, a strong sense that there was connection with our higher self in all of this? This is exactly what this card is saying. Illumination again. The moon um, having to grapple with that uh, with that energy uh, of the unseen, having to dig deeply into. Um, I guess the shadow side of things, illumination, heaven is both within and outside of us, notice the signs. Um, the only thing that will illuminate uh, what is hidden from us is when we shine uh, a light on that. And this is, again, what is occurring with Donald Trump shining a huge light on that carnival show. Um manifestation beautiful we will be in our manifestation energy this is card number 31 creative solutions um individuals individuals will <laughs> that fear that we're always living in or not fear that uh, feeling that the world is sliding uh, into upside an upside down world um, that we're going to be creating something new this is what this manifestation energy is all about you create your own abundance when you live through divine connection the king of cups is always turning up in my readings we will have a chance when he's gone to create something new okay and we have change at times, um, change, of course, was uh, what what was underscoring this reading. Uh, change at times, not easy, but often necessary. Um, the the time, so this will pass. The, this will pass. Change passes. Change comes upon us. We learn the lessons. Uh, number one and number five, all about change, but adding up to number six which is all about healing this is the getting of wisdom hence the yellow uh the yellow uh chakra the sacral chakra growing in awareness growing in wisdom this is a satin energy so um yeah at the base of the pack i would hope that each individual will have connected uh, with their higher selves or will be looking to do that uh, at the base of the pack we've got way shower uh, and that is you yes you you are the keeper and the uh, teller of your truth um, that's at the base of base of the pack if all of us became the way shower imagine what we could manifest um, resilience we will have resilience by this time next year because that's what we're getting right at this moment so it's very important to hold your ground it's very important to um, have that unity and finally we've got uh, number 38 life force um, understanding the past and applying that knowledge to the present can help you solve future challenges imagine imagine if in a year's time we had that again life force new life understanding the past what went on in the past and applying that knowledge to the present can help you solve your future challenges to me that that tells me there's going to be truth and objectivity and strategy uh, in the future not this chaos where so many probabilities are, abound uh, where we just get confused because the times are so chaotic that will have passed. That will have passed. I'm going to leave you with one final card, and that is number 32. Uh, the number three, of course, being communication. The number two uh, being unity, connections with others. Um, this, again, is through the heart chakra, um, which is the green of the card. It is a water energy. Uh, it is a Cancerian energy, but also uh, a Venus energy as well. Love is. Love is. Always hopeful, infinite and divine and worth the climb and worth the climb. Okay, so um, that is a review of my deck um, and uh, incorporating a reading I hope that was helpful for you. Um, 
again, I know, I know that uh, I know that people are wanting to 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 get the deck, um, but I am making sure that everything is done properly, and um, I need to become <laughs> a seller in the marketplace, which I haven't done before, and um, you know, and I also need to uh, get these printed as well in a in a reasonable print run. So all of that takes time. They will be uh, through to you, uh, I think, sometime in June. So um, I will keep you posted. I will announce when they're up on Amazon um, uh, for order or wherever I place them, whatever marketplace I place them, and um, and we'll go from there. So thank you for tuning in. Um, your support and your encouragement um, enabled me to create this deck and this deck uh, came from, was channeled through my higher self, which means that your higher self, because I wouldn't have stuck around this long if I wasn't getting the best of you, um, I try and give the best of me. Um, this deck wouldn't have been possible without you. So thank you um, and stay tuned. I will keep you posted when you can buy it. And again, thank you for your support.